Hundreds of people attended a blue and yellow themed vigil to show solidarity with the people of Ukraine. The event, held at Winchester Cathedral on Saturday morning, saw local leaders deliver powerful speeches against a backdrop of blue and yellow. A minute's silence was held for those affected by the Russian invasion, while a video was played at the service showing Ukrainian citizens praying from within bunkers and air raid shelters. At the end of the service, which started at 11 a.m., hundreds of people formed a line and placed candles and daffodils on the cathedral's floor next to a large outline of the map of Ukraine. Ahead of the event, the very Reverend Catherine Ogle, Dean of Winchester, said, THE vigil is for everyone and anyone who wants to come and express support and follow the latest on the Ukraine-Russia conflict with our live blog here. Hundreds attended the vigil to show solidarity with the people of Ukraine, image, PA. After the vigil, Reverend Ogle tweeted, standing with hash Ukraine vigil at Wynn Cathedral this morning. Towards the end, we created this beautiful devastation has swept across Ukraine in recent weeks following Putin's decision to invade the country, with millions of residents fleeing their homes. In an update on Saturday morning, the Ministry of Defense, MOD, said fighting to the northwest of the Ukrainian capital Kyiv continued, with the bulk of Russian ground forces now about 25 kilometers from its center. Elements of the large Russian column north of Kyiv have dispersed, the MOD added, which it said is likely to support an attempt by the aggressors to encircle the On Saturday, it emerged the Russian military shelled a mosque sheltering more than 80 people in the city of Mariupol. Attendees placed candles and daffodils on the cathedral's floor to pay their respects to those affected in Ukraine, image, PA. Most read, balding man in tears as new hair system leaves him looking 20 years younger. Man defeated after unknowingly scoffing Cadbury cream egg worth up to 10,000 pounds. Russian coup could send Vladimir Putin to the grave or retirement, ex-minister warns. The Ukraine Foreign Ministry said Russian forces shelled the mosque of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent in the southeastern port city. More than 80 men, women and children had been hiding from the conflict there when the shells struck. At a news briefing on Saturday, Ukraine's hero president Volodymyr Zelensky said more than 1,000 Ukrainian soldiers have died fighting for their country. President Zelensky confirmed around 1,300 of his troops had lost their lives during the conflict and claimed Ukrainian and Russian negotiating teams had started discussing concrete topics rather than exchanging ultimatums. He added that 500 to 600 Russian troops had surrendered on Friday despite increasing fears that Putin's men were creeping closer to the capital Kyiv. Candles, daffodils and messages of support were placed on the cathedral's floor next to a large outline of the map of Ukraine, image, Simon Zap, Solent. It comes after President Zelensky earlier claimed Russian troops had abducted the mayor of Melitopol, a city in southeastern Ukraine. Moscow has not yet commented on the abduction claims. A group of men appear to be seen escorting Ivan Fedorov out of a building and across a square in a CCTV clip shared on Telegram by the deputy head of Ukraine's presidential office. The footage, which has been shared widely by the media in Ukraine, is believed to have been taken in the city's Victory Square. Ukraine's parliament claimed the mayor was kidnapped by a group of 10 armed men who put a plastic bag over his head, Daily Mail reports. Firefighters attempt to extinguish a blaze at a house in Kyiv, which is battling the 17th day of the Russian invasion, image, AFP via Getty Images. Don't miss. Russian coup could send Vladimir Putin to the grave or retirement, ex-minister warns. Early signs of pregnancy you might miss, from tingling nipples to a changing sense of smell. 8 Best High Chairs for Safety, Comfort and Easy Cleaning I secretly deleted photos of myself from my husband's phone, now he's mad. President Zelensky has called the alleged abduction a crime against democracy and said the acts by Russia would be treated as terrorism. He said, the capture of the mayor of Melitopol is, therefore, a crime, not only against a particular person, against a particular community, and not only against Ukraine. It is a crime against democracy itself. The acts of the Russian invaders will be regarded like those of Islamic State terrorists. Ukraine's foreign ministry said in a statement, 
The abduction of the mayor of Melitopol is classified as a war crime under the Geneva Conventions and the additional protocol, which prohibit the taking of civilian hostages during the war. Read more. Russia bombs Mariupol mosque sheltering 80 people, Ukraine claims. Read more. Brave elderly couple confront armed Russian soldiers entering their Ukrainian home.